Greetings. We're here at an incredibly spectacular place just off the pavement. The Rabbit Ears. These two twin massive towers of exposed rock. These things are amazing, huge, massive, and very, very impressive. That's the eastern side. And here's the western side. Massive tower, huge thing. And I'm up here kind of in the saddle in between the two of them, which I came up this rock chute here. It didn't look too bad. And surprisingly, it wasn't too bad. Not too bad at all. And I just can't believe this. I, I've never, I, I heard about it about three years ago. And when, you know, and you can see it, you know, it's very breezy. Sorry about the wind. There's nothing I can do about that. It's supposed to be calm wind this afternoon. And instead, it's just getting windier and windier as the day progresses. Yet again, the weather service failed. But this massive thing here, and then it's twin over here. You can see it from the highway as you're driving along. I think it's Highway 62 between uh, 97, or I guess I should say Diamond Lake, and uh, the Rogue Valley, which uh, is on, kind of comes down through this way and then continues on. But you also get these expansive sweeping vistas. I've never seen this area from this sort of height or altitude, and uh, gosh, at the top of one of these things, you'd probably be uh, getting a great view. This one looks climbable. It looks like if you wanted to, you could go up right here and get up to the top. Um, I, The consequences of falling are certain death, so I don't know if I'm necessarily gonna be going up any farther than I already am. Well, I decided to go for it on the east ear, and as the old saying goes, you never know how steep something is until you get your nose right up against it. And that was true. Surprisingly, it was not that hard to get up here. There was an enough little sort of like cracks and clefts and chutes that I was able to work my way up. And at no point did I have to take any chances. And at no point did uh, I feel like I was uh, in danger of falling. Although there were some spots where if I had made a mistake or fallen, it wouldn't have been very good. But uh, the surface of this thing is so cool. Look at this landscape up here. It's just all these little succulents and occasional tufts of grass. And uh, over there, I saw a bunch of climbing D-rings bolted into the rock. So people are rappelling over the side, which must be just thrilling. And these are some pretty impressive formations. Just this, just the landscape up here is so trippy. It's almost like a, an alien landscape. But it's the perfect time of year because all the flowers are coming out. There's purples and yellows and reds and all kinds of stuff happening. Incredibly beautiful. Absolutely worth it. I came up just over here and I started out just down here looking up at the west ear and it's just like, holy cow, that's amazing such a huge lump of rock you know and the one i'm on isn't unimpressive either and of course the views are still just as amazing up there you could actually get that full 360 panorama it's kind of worth seeing for sure you can see all the way around except for what's blocked from the view by the east ear and uh, as far as getting up here you know you're eight miles of gravel road and the last couple miles do get a little ugly I just love these succulents. They're so beautiful. Those are just beautiful little plants. I love these. I hate to even step on any of them. They're so nice. And of course, up at the very top, Zhong, looking up into the Cascades. There's a rugged peak there. Sorry about the wind. It's not supposed to be windy at all today. It's supposed to be light wind this afternoon. Instead, it's just getting windier. Oh, look at these beautiful open meadows, the green meadows. Oh, that wind is terrible. Oh, so great. And that's, of course, Mount Bailey. I like to get up on top of that one of these days. Gosh, and of course, the Rogue River runs down here, down into Lost Creek Lake, which is somewhere out there. Don't know exactly where it would be. Maybe on the other side of that hill right there. Man, you can see these from the highway briefly and you go, what are those big rock things? And you know, for all my life going up and down this road, ever since I was, you know, a young person, I've gone, what are those things? We got to go see that. And nobody ever wanted to. And I wanted to. So I said, you know what? I'm going to drive up to these things. I got to see what this is all about. And it's been so worth it. I can't believe anybody would ever say no to coming out and seeing this. It's just an eight mile gravel drive. Any vehicle could do it just about. I mean, you could take a bicycle up here, I'm sure. But it is a climb, 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 climb from the highway. There are no flat spots on this road. So it's up here for sure. 
And I'm not sure exactly how tall these are. I want to say they're like 7,000 feet, but it could be 5,800, 6,800. Look it up on the map. Should have done that before. Man, that's amazing. Impressive, impressive vista as well. Time to get on down safely and on to uh, relaxing in camp on this beautiful summer day. There's creeks all over. I'm going to try to find a creek to go get myself into and cool off. Get some of these darn flies off me. They are just obsessed with landing on me. I'm constantly swatting them here. But man, what a vista. I'm definitely going to drag people back here if I can, especially knowing that it's actually pretty darn easy to climb up on top of this one. I don't know about that one. <laughs> you know, it looks a bit steep pretty much on every side of it. This one you can get up. And I didn't need any equipment. And yes, I did it in my sandals. Just my bare hands and sandals, no walking stick, no nothing, perfectly fine. But if you come up here, be very, very careful because it is precipitous as heck. And uh, it's a long way to for anybody to come out here and try and rescue you. So keep yourself safe. Maybe just admire the it from the base or from the distance where you can actually see the both of them at once instead of only one at a time. If you're up on top, you can only see one. But I definitely want to thank you very, very much for joining me here for my first ever visit to the Rabbit Ears here in southwestern Oregon to take in this perfect, perfect July weather, sweeping grand vistas, amazing rock formations and towers, and as you saw at the beginning, as always, ants. <laughs>